Well, congratulations on the launch of Quibi. We're out in the world. <laughs> yes. And I love this. It's a whole platform designed to be consumed on your mobile device and you're releasing tons of content. So kind of break it down for us. I understand there's three major categories. First are these kind of big movies and chapters, you know, with some of the most uh, incredible filmmakers, both in front of the screen and behind the screen in Hollywood, really our best storytellers. We have unscripted and documentaries and some amazing shows there that are fun. So Chrissy's Court and uh, Punked with uh, Chance the Rapper and uh, Murder House Flip and just this is the most amazing eclectic group of things, a brilliant documentary that LeBron James has done on his I Promise uh, Academy. And then finally are the Daily Essentials. And that's where we actually go out and are professionally curating information and making that convenient every day. We have 20 shows that we put out every day. No one could have ever thought that we'd be in the middle of a lockdown and this coronavirus pandemic, keeping everyone okay. staying at home. And I know that your vision for this was kind of on the go. However, everyone needs breaks. I've got two kids, 10 minutes is glorious. The in-between moments that we had, you know, a month or two ago, have been replaced by in-between moments that we now have. And so, you know, you're homeschooling two kids, you're doing your chores, you're doing your work. You know, um, you know, I'm doing my work, I'm answering emails, I'm on FaceTime and, you know, in, in conference calls and video conferences. But I have in between, I have as many in-between moments today as I had six weeks ago. They're different, but they're not less of them. And so that's why we really felt we should you know, go, go forward. And also, you know, this is a moment in time in which any distraction, um, anything that just lifts people's spirits, entertains them, gives them a little laughter is a good thing. And I think Quibi will do plenty of that. Uh, and the big decision that we made for, for the business is, is that we decided to give it away free for three months. I love that. Because even $4.99 right now, that's a lot of money for a lot of people. It actually makes a difference. And so we just thought, you know what? Let's not delay the release. Let's go forward. Let people have it for free. We're in this for the long haul. This is not measured in, you know, days or weeks or even months. We, you know, we, we will have plenty of time down the road, let people fall in love with it, you know, and, and, um, you know, sort of just make it available for people today. Talk to me a little bit about new turnstile technology. I love this idea because if you were kind of apprehensive about how you will consume this on your phone or will you be able to see it or what it looks like, it doesn't really matter how you no. hold your phone. No, and that's the beauty of it. You know, we were able to take this technology and put it in the hands of really great storytellers and cinematographers and people who understand, you know, how do you take this and now apply it and make watching on the phone beautiful, which it's never been before. Mm -hmm. You know, you watch it on the phone and, you know, it's like the little top, yes. you know, 25% of the screen. And if you turn it this way, it's all cut off on the sides. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what Quibi set out to do is to say, no, how do we turn a phone into a beautiful video player and make sure that the content actually looks great on that? And so that is something that, honestly, the most talented people, both design and engineering people, but then filmmakers were able to take those tools and use them to make the content that you're now seeing. And I'm really proud of it because nobody's ever seen content that looks like this on a telephone. I have to ask you because with your time you spent at Disney and the you know instrumental aspect that you were in getting the Pixar deal signed and the DreamWorks films that we love, how come there's no kid content? Is it, please tell me it's going to be in the future that you're going to have family to quit Well, we do, but, but, but the thing about it is, so the answer is yes, it is in our future. But, you know, in, in getting started, you know, if you try and be all things to all people, you usually end up being nothing to anybody. Sure. You know, the kids market and the family market, which obviously I know so well because I spent many decades working in it, and I love it. Um, and I think it's a market I actually really, really understand well. That's so different from the 18 to 44 year old millennial people mm -hmm. who are now digital natives on this. And so we just wanted to go for the bullseye at the outset of this. And then as we get successful with this audience, then we can expand into to others. So it'll come, it's in our roadmap, but 
Nice. You got to get this right first. One of the things that I love about these little, you know, quick bites, as you call it, to consume is that you do have a lot of positive content that's out there too. I always love upbeat stories in this, but again, make no mistake, Quibi is just a complete mix of different things and, you know, in which there's really challenging, interesting dramas, they're crazy, funny comedies, they're, um, as you said, heartfelt, um, there's some, you know, you know, Sam Raimi's coming next week with a truly scare you, scare you, you know, uh, uh, you know, thing that he's doing. It's called 50 States of Fright. And he's, every state in America, he's found a really, really scary story to tell. So there's there's lots of choices and that's on purpose. And so I'm glad that you were able to find things that work for you. There is a very, very powerful recommendation engine. You may not be aware of it but it actually sees what your interests are and mm -hmm. then actually starts to migrate content to you um, that, that continues to hopefully serve things that are spe of specific interest to you. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day. It was a pleasure talking to you. I can't wait to Thank go consume more quickly.